vlog, August 7th, I believe. I'm feeling super lazy, and the beard is starting to get annoying. So I might shave this soon, very soon. Uh, I'm not sure what I got going on today. I do have to run a lot of errands, and so it's going to be nice to get those out of the way and knocked out, because I'm just weird and I have checklists of things to do. It's just weird. Um, or I could just pretend like I'm doing the errands and then just go watch Game of Thrones because I'm super into that now, now that I'm watching it. And if you are into that, check this channel out. Hold on. Um, this one. She basically does like a history of channels or the, um, the characters and the different houses of, of the show. So that's kind of cool because I didn't actually read the books because... I didn't read the books. So getting to watch those is, you know, catches you up on a lot of the side stories that the show doesn't get to cover. So that's kind of neat. Um, I thought I had a lot more to talk about. It was my phone. Boom, look at that. All cleaned up and everything. You know what I'm saying? Every once in a while, I gotta go through that rebuilding phase. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna go hit the gym here in a little bit. You guys might have, might not have seen that video. I don't think you probably would have seen that video by now. I'm gonna go hit uh, a, I'm gonna go hit push, max effort. And this is kind of like my last hurrah before I go and do a deload, which has been pushed off quite a bit. And it's much needed at this point. It's definitely, I'm feeling taxed, um, certain things feel kind of achy, uh, that only my assumption at that point is that connective tissue is already starting to kind of wear down, so I need to be careful, but I want to get a nice, a nice little hoorah, hit push today, pull tomorrow, and then take some time off. Um, look at these girls. Hi lazies. They're apparently just chilling. So, I'm uh, going to be doing that. Uh, one thing I was thinking about earlier today was that FML Fits posted a video about, anyways, posted a video on uh, what makes his channel unique and what makes it different to other people's channels. And I started thinking about myself. I'm like, what makes my channel unique and what makes it different? Maybe it's the shitty camera quality. There we go. Uh, and I guess my biggest thing is the idea that uh, I'm giving you guys unbiased reviews. I'm giving you guys uh, tips and suggestions and learning through my experiences as to how to do things. And maybe hopefully giving you a more streamlined event. I've been stuck on this bodybuilding slash powerlifting um, cycle for a while only because I want to maximize it and I want to do it as best as possible. And I think there's still quite a bit left in the tank but I will be throwing some other things here in the future. I mean, this channel has always been about giving you guys different fitness advice, so sticking to two different paradigms isn't in your best benefit. For me, it would be to try different things out that I've been wanting to try out and give you guys tips on how to do those and maybe how to transition into them or what I suggest doing with them. So that's in the works, uh, but I definitely want to give this a really good hit. Uh, although my lifts are, are okay, I mean, I think in consideration to what people normally do when they start out and the amount of time I've been doing it, I think they're pretty respectable. Uh, but when it comes down to it, there's still more left in the tank. And I think I have my own personal goals as to what I like to hit before I can honestly say, all right, I'm only going to be doing maintenance on these lifts now. Um, and um, I'm, I'm not close yet. Not by any means. So we'll get there. Uh, what else do I want to talk to you guys about? So that, that's the thoughts on the channel. And um, I don't know how, how freaking long is this video now. I should probably cut it close. But it's really funny because you guys will see that. My phone again. You guys will see that I. If you follow me on Instagram. There goes my paper clip. You guys will see that I, I read a bit. Um, not as much as I'd like to. And not as. as um, basically I don't have as much time as I'd like to. To, to read. And, and, and to really give myself new ideas to consider and maybe ponder upon or learn from or whatnot. And um, there's every single time in every book I try to 
you know, sticky things or learn things or, you know, talk about things with you guys so that maybe it gives you something to think about. So there's a lot of books that I'm kind of going through and you guys have seen some of these on Instagram. Some of these you might have not. Um, and, but this is some books that I've kind of printed out some things that I want to talk to you guys about. So random topic of the day because I give you guys one topic. I'm going to do a gangster lean on this. Anyways, random topic of the day, a random uh, thought provoking thing. that um, I wanted to talk to you about, randomly picked out of the selection and stack of, very small stack, is, um, Chai, check this out. So this is from a book called The Warrior Ethos by Stephen Pressfield. It's essentially a book of, um, Pressfield is very good with uh, many different things, but one thing he specializes in is, there goes my phone, hold on. All right. Sorry about that guys. So it was from like a, a improv, stand-up improv place that wanted a deal on tickets or whatever anyways. Too much information. But anyways, back to the point. So Pressfield is an author who specializes in Greek and um, Spartan specifically, the, their history and um, their way of life if you will. He, he's written a couple books, some about the battle on Tripoli if I believe, or, or the one basically that's famous. Uh, made famous by the movie 300 and then also uh, a couple of other books like this one named The Warrior Ethos and so he basically writes uh, The Warrior Ethos is a book about the idea of the warrior lifestyle and uh, not just the, the lifestyle but also the the mindset if you will so I'm gonna read you guys this, this um, excerpt from the book and then maybe give some some talk about in the bottom and then maybe give me your thoughts on uh, what you think and um, your your thoughts on it and what one thing to keep in mind is that the Spartan people are very proud people so I'm gonna try to read this without being an idiot so here we go another time a band of Spartans arrived at a crossroads to find a party of frightened travelers you are lucky the travelers told them a gang of bandits were just here a few minutes ago we were not lucky, said the Spartan leader. They were. So that was a response and the idea that that the Spartans were that prepared, that much prepared than more than any of them. And they were. They were the, the highest level of fighters probably in that area. And so slight cockiness, but warranted? I don't know. Post down below. But I think this will conclude the video. I don't know how long this is. So Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you like these kind of vlogs, post down below, hit the like button, whatever, just so I know what your thoughts are on these things. And see you guys next time.